to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Romans chapter 1 and verse 4. It takes power to declare God to be the to declare Jesus as the Son of God. Romans chapter 1 and verse 4. Let's start from 3 and 4. Let's go to 3 and then we'll read 4. Again, my apologies. It's sad you're not following me here. It said, Concerning his Son, Jesus our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. Verse 4. It says, And declared to be the Son of God with power. Not with noise. Declared to be the Son of God with power. You want to declare that Jesus is the Son of God? You need power. Ah, Shaliba Rosaziata. When you stand before that sick body, you want to declare that He's Lord, the Son of the Living God. It will take more than grammar, it will take more than the excellency of speech. You will need power. Most believers lack power. It takes power. In Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. The Bible himself speaking about God and speaking about the word of God. He said, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power. Upholding all things. Psalm 24 and verse 10. I can't read that scripture enough. Psalm 24 and verse 10. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. Let's, let's read verse, verse 9 and 10. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in verse 10. It says, who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Did I get something wrong? There's one of it that says, is the Lord... Who is strong and mighty hallelujah verse 8 the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle say strong and mighty he was the lord strong and mighty and is the lord strong and mighty that's why he became victorious in battle if you are not strong and mighty even if you are sincere and faithful you will still fail the requirement for dominion is more than sincerity of heart it is strength and might somebody says strength if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small someone needs to access superior supernatural power supernatural power is not for preachers my dear people demons don't look for only preachers they look for everybody you need power to survive the times today hallelujah who is this king of glory he's the lord strong and mighty do you know many believers want to see supernatural results in their lives but they ignore the place of spiritual empowerment jesus himself spoke to the disciples he said tarry ye in jerusalem until ye be endued with power i have been teaching you for three years i taught you but all my lecture will sound like rubbish in the face of real life situations until you have power imagine them standing and looking at that guy at gate beautiful and say let me tell you something on the seventh day of three years ago jesus christ came to us and he taught us he said when you see that a man cannot stand number one show compassion Point number two, speak to the person kindly. Number three, ask the person to stand up that the father can. The man will just be looking at them. The Bible says he looked at them expecting to receive. 
from today everybody who looks at you expecting to receive they will not be disappointed in the name of jesus christ please look at me there are some of you your family members have been looking at you for 10 years expecting to receive you told them you are born again and they said well i don't know the kind of christianity we are doing but i trust you and they have been looking at you on the ground for 10 years till now they have not received anything yet you have been preaching you have been talking stories but it's not backed up with power this night that power factor may it come upon your life hear me he says i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god not the statement of god not just the message of god it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believes i believe in the power of god i have seen what the power of god can do it can subdue principalities and powers it can shut the mouth of lions the power of God can lift a man from where he is to where he needs to be. Can I tell you sincerely, you are not really a blessing if you ignore the power of God in your life. How then will you be able to bless people? Most, do you know that most of people's problems are spiritual? So if all you have is intellectual solutions, you will be limited. Intellectual solutions will only solve intellectual problems. Physical solutions will only solve uh, physical problems. If I'm hungry, I don't need power. I need food. Yam and egg and rice and whatever. I eat it, it solves the problem. But if you still eat it physically and you are not satisfied, something else is wrong with you. Because you now see that the physical rice did not solve that problem. If you lack blood, lack blood like you're a medical person and they're giving you several pints of blood, you are not bleeding and yet we don't know where the blood is going to. That one now is no longer typhoid and malaria somebody somewhere is stealing from somewhere that is the ministry of the thief represented there at that point you need more than a drink what do you need shout it power that's right believe me the times that we live in those who lack power will fall by the wayside hallelujah those who lack power mysterious problems are being unleashed from hell to the earth and you see people carrying problems that they cannot explain my leg is paining me from leg pain the person sits down and die does leg pain kill no that is more than a medical problem my dear people you ask medical doctors right now the medical doctors are becoming more spiritual when they diagnose a patient once twice they will tell you listen what church do you attend go and fight a man of god quickly because they themselves are learning the enemy has done this the enemy has done this the enemy has caused division in this family that quarrel between father and mother is not normal there is a normal misunderstanding in marriage but this one now is being empowered by a demon spirit the devil wants to cause trouble no that barrenness situation is not just a natural cause of time this is the devil trying to raise his ugly head can I tell you every time you see satan take back wisdom bring out power the language that conquers satan is power hear me you don't use wisdom for spirits no you use wisdom for men wisdom is in the realm of men when you are dealing with the cosmos you need wisdom but when you are dealing with the realm of the spirit take back wisdom and bring power hear me listen as a man of god somebody is telling you this is what is happening i'm collecting my salary i go back home and i'm applying every principle and something happens do you know respectfully speaking in spite of the strike that has happened now when lecturers are paid it should be some accumulated salary there are people who have all kinds of wicked spirits waiting they will never have any problem until that arrears is paid suddenly mysterious problems arise everybody becomes sick even if it's 10 million it must finish and then they are fine do you need wisdom no 
you have been advising spirits that's why they have not gone we were never given the mandate to advise them you think they are dull no the sons of Skiva came with nonsense and they were speaking English and the demon said Paul we know Jesus we know they begged Jesus and Jesus made one utterance go and that was it listen if you allow the devil deceive you and say i am not in ministry so power is not for me i am just a mother with five children i am just a businessman except the realm of the spirit has no influence over your affairs hmm. man of god you want to build a robust ministry for jesus it will take more than just the natural secular church growth principles those are managerial principles and they are important but they are only important if the realm of the spirit is corrected listen if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were a businessman whether you are an entrepreneur whether you were a graduate when that flood comes it will carry all of you together and crash land you it's only those who had the power the wisdom worked on earth but that rain did not come by geography the bible says the heaven sent his rain the earth also sent his rain whoever is missing between and noah was there can i tell you you will be deceived to believe that it was just the ark that held them alone no they didn't have the kind of sophistication of technology today the ark cannot hold you have you ever seen a flood happening is it a nice river that is just going like that it has capsized you forgotten the titanic how big would the ark have been it was not kept just by physics there was a hand that kept there after they finished building it no one knows he knows what he did with him and god and god just held it like that while the rivers were moving and the oceans do you know what it means for the whole earth to be immersed with water let me tell you you went to school that the cold the cold alone the freezing temperature would have killed everybody inside that ark what would kill them is not water what would kill them is the temperature by what mechanism did they remain hot when the whole earth was immersed in water come on please use your mind no it's more than the miracle of hiding in a place they were kept by power wisdom built the ark but power kept it through the storms wisdom can build your business but it's power that will keep it against wicked people wisdom can build anything but it is power that keeps it hear me the wisdom of the world can give you a child but it is power that will keep that child the wisdom of the world can give you business but it is power that will keep you the wisdom of the world can give you a ministry but believe me ladies and gentlemen it takes power dominion is a language of power rule thou in the midst of your enemies how do you rule by discussion by negotiation no someone pray in one minute this advising spiritual situations comes to an end the power that changes situations i contend for it tonight we are wrapping up for pray pray in the name of jesus jeremiah 32 and verse 17 we are still praying over power jeremiah 32 
he says ah lord god behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth how by thy great power and thy stretch out arm there is nothing too hard for thee because of the presence of power the cure for difficulty is power oh our lord god you made the heavens and the earth by thy great power it's good to have wisdom but let me tell you sincerely you need the power of god are we together and the principal way the power of god is released from the saints over situation is through words where the word of a king is that means if there is no power is either the king is not speaking or he's not a king but if he's a king and he opens his mouth there should be power where the word of a king is he didn't say there is counseling many of us keep advising wicked spirits in our life this spirit of death is not fair now why will you keep coming like that spirits no say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power i will never do ministry without power it's a risk dear people it's a risk and when i talk about power i'm not just talking of falling down and standing up you see pentecostals and charismatics have messed up this whole thing many people fall down and stand up and nothing changes we're talking of power that forces compliance that when god says by this time tomorrow that power moves and clears everything that want to make it the day after it must be tomorrow because god has said so hallelujah let me give you the last one we have to wrap up hmm. sit down please jeremiah 29 jeremiah 9 23 let's finish up so let the wise man not glow in, in his wisdom the first expression of glory is wisdom divine wisdom number two power might ability supernatural ability and then number three it says let not the rich man glory in his riches someone say wealth this is the captain of this realm wealth this is very important there is no dominion in the earth realm in its entirety without wealth in fact the word glory when you study the word cardboard the root word means the weightiness of a thing it is an expression it was used in ancient time to measure money because then they use gold and the rest so the weightier the precious metal the more the value so the word glory there is the word wealth or the weightiness can i tell you the truth my dear people please come to terms with it once and for all that if you are poor financially poor you are going to be limited i have taught again and again on the issue of finances the greatest negative effect of poverty and lack is limitation what does it mean to be limit to be limited to be stopped from advancement that's it if poverty were neutral didn't do anything didn't affect anyone that would be fine every time god bless people in the bible go and read it there is nobody who walked with god that among the several blessings that came to him wealth was not part of is it abraham is it isaac is it jacob is it ruth is it lot was it even jesus himself are we together now the subject of wealth is a very broad one we've done a series go to koinonia global and get it and listen to it but let me tell you the truth many of you as you are seated right now the principal cause of your anger and frustration is the limitation it's not the lack of money it's the limitation it has created most of us don't like money the way we think it is just because the limitation that it has provided has made you become so obsessed about it are we together 
by the time your child is here seated and his school fees cannot be paid let's say you're a man of god three children their school fees cannot be paid and the owner of the school is your member is what that's right and now you stand upon the pulpit and say i know my god is faithful and the director of your school is watching you he has given you chance because you are his pastor six months you have not paid the school fees you will not have the confidence to stand and preach the faithfulness of god and the limitation it provides unnecessary battle between you people because now he respects you as his man of god but then they need to move forward and now you are not a good example poverty is evil did you hear what i said now when you hear things like this make sure you are first spiritual before you answer because for carnal people anything that brings delight to the flesh they receive it with joy i have taught you that our perspective when it has to do with wealth and abundance believe me ladies and gentlemen is not self-aggrandizement remember our, 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 our beginning scripture they glorified god in me let no one preach you into accepting wealth uh, poverty as part of the plan of god for your life have you not seen what it has done for people poverty has dehumanized people brought people lower than the dignity that god set for them that thing is evil you have an assignment in your lifetime to conquer it as fast as possible the strange thing is that you can never have wealth if you don't have the first two because it is the presence of the first two in your life that guarantees the manifestation of that third level of glory the combination of wisdom and power is what can bring wealth you cannot have sustainable wealth it says strong men retain riches wise men can get it but it takes power to retain it when you ignore wisdom and you ignore power then forget about walking in the reality of the blessing of the lord yesterday we discussed the seed of abraham remember three levels justification by faith the blessing of abraham then the blessing the holy spirit then the blessings of abraham all of the fringe benefits the physical expressions i made up my mind as an individual that i will not be poor and this is not just some chanting of gibberish from flesh driven people it was a decision that came as a result of concluding you know how the psalm is taught he said when i see the stars i examine the works of your hands then i came to the conclusion what is man me too i sat down i looked at my life and i said no at the end of my life here is my conclusion lack and poverty are limiting and destructive are we together many believers are looking like slaves in this country today slaves in africa because of this and the devil knows this so he will do something to the economy you are not truly prosperous until the house of god testifies of your prosperity if the house of god cannot testify of your prosperity you are not truly prosperous I'm, what I'm saying is beyond just meeting your needs having a house or being able to pay rent and having children that's wonderful we give glory to God but we're talking of the level where you can go up the mountain like Haggai said and you can bring wood and you can build God a house that he will be glorified he said the silver is mine and the gold is mine I will shake the heavens and I will shake the earth and the desire of nations will come to you the silver is mine he said go up the mountain and bring wood you don't get wood from a mountain you get wood from the forest but this kind of wood that is needed you have to spend time to the sphere of influence to bring it and you will use it to build god a house and he will be glorified hallelujah there are many sincere preachers today who are falling into the trap of manipulation simply because of economy especially at the times that we live right now people are compromising at different levels because of this the rod of the wicked the rod of the wicked shall not rest 
upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he says lest he dips his hand the rod of the, the lot of the righteous there means their inheritance their land their estate that means it's a prayer point it's not a memory verse that when you are praying say lord let the rod of the wicked not rest upon my inheritance because it can make me do things i never planned doing the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity we're about to pray if god is to be glorified in you you must produce results carry this mentality tonight that you are a brand ambassador you are not branding an earthly product you are not branding cosmetics you are branding you are standing to defend the name and the purposes of the king of kings and the lord of lords and that to be an effective ambassador you must move beyond the realm and the desire to be a celebrity you must move beyond being a celebrity and you must have a sincere desire is someone learning now praise the name of the lord a sincere desire to be an ambassador a witness of the truth we're going to pray and then i'll speak over your life and then we'll be done i will pray just minister we're not going to have the time to i may not have the time to prophesy or do this but this that i've told you you practice this go and get teachings on wisdom go and get teachings on power go and get teachings on wealth combine them you know how you cook soup you first start with water or oil or whatever you put there and then you look for you look for whatever ingredient and at the end of it you will taste and see that that soup is good is that true after you, you you can start smelling it you can start knowing that ah, no no I, I this thing is making sense but it doesn't really profit you until you dip your spoon or whatever and then you taste it you know that it is now ready for my consumption and the consumption of others some of us you are not ready to be a blessing yet you are still in that process you need to allow the holy spirit guide you now god has given you tools Go and cry for wisdom. Go and cry for genuine power. And cry that God will grant you grace to be blessed. And then you combine those ingredients and wear them like an armor. You are ready to be an ambassador. When you face the world with difficult situations, you will be indomitable over the cosmos because you have the arsenal of wisdom when the realm of the spirit seeks to interfere with the cosmos to manipulate against the purposes of god you have the weapon of power that can speak and then for efficiency in the world of men you will need resources because the rich will always rule over the poor and the borrower will be slave to the lender he said the rich and the poor dwell together the lord is the maker of them all he's not the maker of them so but he's the maker of them all man of god don't just pray for members alone sincerely i will tell you it is honest to stand before god and say lord the wisdom and the power and the grace to attract and retain wealth there is the wisdom side of wealth but believe me when i tell you there is the power side of wealth the beautiful thing is that the wisdom side of wealth takes time for you to learn but the power side can be imparted immediately like now are we together oh yes by this time tomorrow is not an advice mm -mm. Mm -mm. go and fish is wisdom you have to learn when the fish will stay and put your net and be patient overnight but by this time tomorrow is the ministry of power there are some urgencies in your life you don't need grace to go and farm you have to wait four months there are times you will need manna to come from heaven immediately who prepared it is not our business we know that it needs at least it didn't come from hell it came from heaven some of you the situation you are in now you have made mistakes already you don't need wisdom now you need power to correct that mistake first then wisdom can now help you to now make it well can i speak over your life please rise up on your feet there are kings there are kings
kingdoms, the mountains and the thrones. Only a true will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are kings, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones. But only a true one will reign forever. I need more than influence. I need influence that is connected to purpose. Someone pray. Jesus. Now hear me. This is our final night together. I have just one more session and then we'll leave. Tomorrow I'll be praying with the prayer department by 6.30. Just one hour. 6.37. I don't know how we're going to do it. It's particularly for the prayer department but we can't stop all. If you are invited and you can find the space, I just want to do an early morning prayer with the prayer department and then we'll be good to do some other things and leave. But for now, just spare me two minutes. I want to speak over your life. Impartation is powerful. You don't have to kneel. You don't have to do. Just be ready to receive. I truly believe in the power of impartation. Impartation is receiving what you do not have. Or what you do not have enough of. The wisdom of God is transferable. We have received from those who by the privilege of God's grace... We have received from the word of God. We have received by a sincere desire in prayer. For everyone that asketh receiveth. But we have also received from those who are the carriers of this wisdom. With proof. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus. Like the dew of Hammon. Whether you are a man of God. Whether in this house or just coming to visit. Whether you are a businessman. Whether you are a lecturer. Whether you are a parent. In the name of Jesus I declare. At the count of three. Let that grace, that wisdom like you have never received. Let it come upon you. One. Two. Two. Take that wisdom now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. Superior wisdom. I impart it upon you. Supernatural solutions. Extraordinary decisions. No more foolish decisions. In the name of Jesus. Receive that grace. I impart it upon you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom in the city. Wisdom in the country, wisdom academically speaking, wisdom maritally, wisdom business wise, wisdom in ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, Maleka Tabaratosia. Ah, this one will come on many people. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost to excel in ministry. The power of the Holy Ghost right now wherever you are, inside and outside, 
at the count of three, take that power now. One, two, three, take that power. Take that anointing for signs and wonders, supernatural miracle. The power of the Holy Ghost, man of God, doing ministry this way you will not rise. Take fresh grace, fresh anointing, fresh grace. Let the gifts of the Spirit be activated now. The gifts of the Spirit be activated now. The power to heal be activated now. The power to deliver be activated now. Please help them. Paranda Zadekate Barakotosko to Brentege Balakus. A Fareska Teka Faresko Sikate. Karega de Bala. God is still releasing something. I'm still seeing like like dew just falling. Mares Shade. Areskotia. Embrake de Bala Toskatia. You will never be the same. Shabro Shadia Tabala. Power upon your hands. Mantle and oil upon your head. Strange results. Strange dimension. Strange results. Strange dimension. Number three. Let the rich man not glory in his riches. I want to declare that grace. Listen, when it has to do with wealth and prosperity, I have taught you there are keys and there are principles you need. Value, wealth, increase, investments, so on and so forth. But hear me, truly there is the power to prosper. There is a grace from God. I want to not only speak over your finances, but release something on you most of you have value but your value is not anointed father in the name of jesus christ let as many young and old male and female everyone here who desires this grace the power and the unction to prosper may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Prosper your finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every helper who must arise in your life, in your ministry, in your business, some of you to bail you out of your current financial condition in the name of Jesus Christ. Between now and the end of this month, we call them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please believe it, believe it. I call them by the power of the Holy Ghost. There are many of you by reason of this declaration, you will step into prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Let me pray for every family here. I know that economically speaking, it looks like things are tied. But in Jesus' name, I place a mark of exemption upon you. A mark of exemption upon your children. A mark of exemption upon your children's children. I place a mark of exemption upon your business, upon your ministry. You will not fall financially. In the name of Jesus Christ, If there is anyone holding what belongs to you, Shali pa e kapus kadi, shame me me kapabarusiata. In the name of Jesus, may it be released to you now. Hear me, anyone here who needs a job, I decree and declare by the power that created the heavens and the earth. Between now and the next three months, may a supernatural job locate you. Let him locate you, let him locate you, 
Let it locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare promotion. Everyone who has remained at the same level, experience increase right now. Experience increase right now. Hear me? Anyone here who is in business and it has refused to work, first the wisdom you need, may God grant you. The power you need, may God grant you. Now that I've prayed for you, let me speak to the business. In the name of Jesus, I declare every dead or dying business here, come back to life now. Come back to life now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. I heard someone was telling me that there was a threat letter that was given to one, one environment, one community or so, somewhere around. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare, if there is any conspiracy, agree with me or don't sit down and say, in the name of Jesus, we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare cancelled now. We release the forces of judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no peace for the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.